and welcome to your Go Market update today with Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets on the 22nd of June. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, overnight we saw a positive session on Wall Street after the long weekend's break. As expected, the futures are pointing to a significantly higher session, and we got that with a broad based rally across all the major indices. US futures, however, are mildly negative in Asia, so a little bit of a lack of follow through, and Asian indices have ignored that strong wall street lead and are cautiously mixed with only the asx up and that's only just around about 0.1 percent to the upside as we record this european futures are pointing to a slightly negative open as well so it doesn't seem as though there's a lot of appetite for risk at the moment uh, we're seeing the us dollar slightly strengthen today in asia it is trading mid-range at the moment technically and gold has moved to the downside accordingly. It's testing and it has in fact broken this morning the key 1835 level. And last time it did this, it made its way down pretty close to 1800. So that's technically on the cards as well, dependent on what happens over the next 24 hours or so. After a strongish day yesterday, all's dropped again uh, by around about 2% this morning. It's trading around about the 112 level on the Brent CFD contract and is back at one month lows. And we do have the EIA data out this evening. It'll be interesting to see if there is a lesser than expected drawdown on the back of inflated petrol prices, of course, which is exactly what the Fed want, really. They want to see a decrease in spending and with oil a key component of the high inflation we've got at the moment be interested to see what the market response to that is the vix is indicating this continued uncertainty in the market suggesting volatility is here to stay at least for now it's remaining over 30 and bitcoin once again looks to test that critical 20,000 this morning it tested it on monday and is doing it again and in the data front we've got the uk cpi and ppi out this afternoon that might just have a slightly broader response than just with the gb pound across the board really uh, investors are looking for signs that inflation may have topped we've also got canadian inflation data out later as well Add to that Eurozone consumer confidence and the Fed Chairman Jerome Powell testimony in front of Congress. We have market moving potential in the data that's out today. Let's just look at a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. Uh, we're going to start in the ASX and we're actually liking the look of Brickworks. You can see this has been under the cosh really since the back end of March. Dropped significantly down from $25 to test $16 to the downside. We have had a pause and we do look as though we're on the way up. We had this level at 1786 as resistance over the last five trading sessions and it looks as though a reversal is on the cards. There's plenty of upside potential in this if we do get some buying, possibly up as far as $19 to $20 depending on on how much market enthusiasm there is to push this back upwards again. On the Forex front, we are looking at the GB pound yen. We talked about this yesterday and it did hit the price target that we thought it might do long, but we are seeing some strength in the yen this morning. You can see that daily candle there already down 100 pips from yesterday's close. If we look at the hourly chart, you can see that pull down then it doesn't look as though it's stopping quite yet i'm not sure that we would see it all the way down to 165.25 but certainly in the first instance if it breaks as it is doing now that 167 level we could see it down as far as 165.94 so around about 100 pips potential in that if the technical gods align and it pushes it downwards trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now